Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Uh, today's video is just going to be talking about the upcoming G80 and G82 M3 and M4 and talking about how you, you can expect to make some pretty crazy numbers with these motors. Um, the motor that's going to be placed in these cars uh, is the S58 that's already being used in the XM, uh, sorry, the X3M, X4M competition package. Um, it's the bigger brother to the B58 and it shares a lot of technology from the S55, um, but you can also tell BMW learned some lessons that they implemented into the B58. Um, as the S55 had the Achilles heel, the crank hub uh, being able to, that was independent from the crankshaft, that's completely gone away. Now it's keyed from the factory and uh, we shouldn't have any spun crank hubs or any issues like that. This motor has been around for about a year now and so far from what I've read online there's been nothing that says that you know anybody's spinning crank hubs. And the numbers are pretty impressive. I'll show you guys here. The guy who tuned my car, F80 Paul, um, he uses boot mode. He's making this car specifically made about 800 horsepower and about 780 to 90 pound feet of torque. I can't remember exactly off the top of my head, but um, and he also says that the the dyno was maybe a little genu uh, generous. Um, so let's say we even knock off 50 on each one of those power figures you're still talking about you know an extra 100 to 150 um, increase from a fully 85 tune on an S55 so you know it's that's a big ass leap and 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 this number that uh, this dyno is off of a stock motor stock turbo stock and in fuel injectors uh, stock fuel system just a full bolt-on car we're talking maybe a cold air intake because we already know BMW makes good intakes from factory um, and a downpipe and that is it uh, I, I'm not too sure about the charge pipes on the uh, S58s I'm not too sure I'm not familiar if they need to be replaced um, like the S55s do when um, you've gone through enough heat cycles on those plastic charge pipes uh, I'm not exactly too sure but we're still talking about a fairly inexpensive car to mod to make insane power so uh, yeah pretty impressive you're talking about a motor with a um, it's a closed deck motor just like the B58 and the uh, S55 forged crankshaft forged pistons forged valve forged valves forged uh, forged ah can't talk forged crankshaft forged valves forged pistons and uh, forged rods in this motor it should be pretty damn impressive to see the uh, the numbers that you'll be able to lay down on the new M3 and M4 the X3M weighs 4650 now let's say you are a grown ass man weighing around 180 to 200 pounds you're talking about a car that almost weighs 3900 pounds and chances are with an SUV you got something in the back of the seat, uh, the back seat, whether it's kids or groceries or whatever it may be. You're talking almost a 5,000 pound SUV, and these cars are putting down uh, 2.9 0 to 60 times mid tens in this, uh, the quarter mile. So, with a car that weighs about 3,800 to 3,900 uh, pounds as a curb weight, with the same power figures, I think we can expect the uh, M3 and M4 to, to be putting down 2.5, 2.6, 0 to 60 and maybe even a 9 second car which is fucking insane to think about um, from a car that is literally just running a different type of fuel and a downpipe um, so it'll be interesting to see, very interesting to see it was very nice to see that uh, the results from a E85 tune full bolt on for an S55 I mean, those cars were in the, the uh, low, low to mid tens, which was very impressive. I would actually say uh, mid to high tens. Um, I know somebody just cracked the the nine second mark with an M4, um, but that was with 
it wasn't full bolt on it wasn't just full bolt on um, that had modifications done to it but nonetheless still very impressive so we'll see we'll see what type of numbers we can put down as far as for myself I'm a track rat these powered figures aren't really going to be useful for me probably about 600 horsepower is probably where um, I think this chassis gets overwhelmed with the power on track uh, I know that's how it is for the F80 um, I know guys running that ran pure turbos on track and unless you're tracking on some something that is like a roval course like Auto Club Speedway here in California all that power is really unnecessary and it actually will slow you down um, I know guys who've ran big power like that and been slower by seconds um, because that power was either taking too long to build or was just way too overwhelming and they were having to break early for the turns um, so we'll see it might be a cool little car to uh, make as a daily just an absolute rocket ship on the streets um, and then make the GT3 the dedicated track car I think that's really the route I'm gonna go but uh, but we'll, we'll see Another thing that is kind of making me a little iffy on whether I want to buy one or not now is uh, the depreciation. So uh, I talked to a couple of you guys, uh, whether it was on Instagram or on here on YouTube, um, that initial depreciation val value of uh, or loss on basically every M car up to this date has been pretty bad. You're talking about losing, let's say if you spec out a car for about 85 to 90 grand, in three years you're talking about a car that and if you haven't put a shit ton of miles on it you're talking about a car that's about 60 G's 65 G's so uh, we'll see I don't know if that's uh, something I wanna take a loss on but if I can spec my own the way I want to uh, it might be worth that uh, that depreciation loss just knowing that it's something that I personally spec myself and not just went to a dealership and got one off the lot so we'll see but uh if you guys like this video please drop a comment or sorry drop a like leave a comment in the comment section if you guys have any questions as well go ahead and do that and i'll get back to it as soon as possible you can reach out to me on instagram um yeah other than that i'm out of here take it easy